Hi, I'm Scott. In this video, I'm going to go over the process and procedures I took to purchase and install an LED score display in my Williams System 11 pinball machine, Whirlwind. This video focuses on the LED score displays made by PinScore because that's the product I chose to install on my Williams System 11 pinball machine. I'll go over why I chose to replace my gas plasma, my original score display that is 30 years old, why I chose to replace that with a new LED score display, and why didn't I choose to replace it with a gas plasma display. I'll review the process I took to choose the pin score LED display over many of its competitors, including the Rotten Dog's LED score display. And I'll also cover the simple procedures that it takes to remove the old score display and install the new LED score display. All right, let's get started. All right, this segment, I'm gonna turn the game on and uh, let you see what happens to the score display for uh, the top row and the second row. Okay, so the game's booted and you'll notice that we have information on the bottom but not on the top. So after 29 years or so, the top line's finally gassed out. So it's kind of hard to play the game without that top row of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this gas plasma display with an LED display. Gas plasma score displays, they're very hard to find. Usually you have to get one that's uh, been used and you pull them off of an old score display where one of the other rows has quit working. If you do to find one, they're very expensive. Anyways, they eventually gas out. So even pulling the score display from an old game is just a temporary fix. LED score displays, they're easy to find. There's several manufacturers and there's many vendors that carry the products. LED score displays, there's cheaper solution, much cheaper than gas plasma. And the modern day LED score displays, they look exactly like these gas plasma displays. So they're an excellent replacement. Power supplies contain a 100 volt section. This is needed for the gas plasma score displays. If you install LED score displays in your game, you don't need a 100 volt section anymore of that power supply. Matter of fact, you can remove the two fuses. That 100 volt section that power supply, that's just one more thing to go wrong in an aging game with aging electronics. For the Williams System 11B game I needed the LED score displays for, Whirlwind, the pin score displays cost $200. They're well made and it's high quality. It comes with a brightness adjustment knob, a diagnostic button that lets you test the segments and the digits without even going into the coin door and the diagnostics. It comes with five volts to run the LEDs, so you don't need your high voltage section on the power supply. The LED segments, they come with this beautiful black mat that makes the uh, LEDs pop. It includes a foam light shield, so you don't have any bleed from your general illumination lights in the back box. And the digits, they're all in the original font and the original color. For the Williams System 11B game that I needed an LED score display for, Whirlwind, the Rotten Dog part cost $160. It's well made. The electronics design, it's very simple. It comes with a schematic and it uses only 5 volts. Once again, no need for a 100 volt section in your power supply. The LED segments that come with the black matte background and uh, it looks pretty good. It's a pretty good product. While performing my research on the LED score displays, I looked at a lot of YouTube channels, a lot of internet pinball sites, looked over a bunch of reviews, and overall there were no major complaints about any of the LED products. Uh, PinScore got the most love, but Rotten Dog got a lot of favorable uh, mentions, so there's, there was no clear winner during my research. The price difference between Rotten Dog and PinScore, it definitely makes you raise an eyebrow. Rotten Dog's $40 cheaper. That's 20% cheaper than PinScore. However, for $40 more, PinScore included some features that I liked. They included the exact color and font match. That was important to me. 
They included those foam light shields to prevent the GI bleed from the back box. That was important to me. They included that self-test button. That made testing those digits and segments a lot easier than going through the segment display in the coin door. In the br brightness adjustment knob, that holds some potential ease of use for people that want to adjust the brightness of their score displays. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to remove this display. So I'm going to turn the game off. I'm going to unplug the game. And then I'm going to remove this piece. And I'll come back and show you what we do the next part. All right, now I'm removing the score display. I went ahead and I lifted it up uh, off the brackets that hold it. I laid this cloth here so I won't scratch anything up. And I just lay it forward. So at this point, there's four screws. Now mine's only got three because this one's missing, but there's one here, usually one here. That's the second one. There's a third one. There's a fourth one. Those will come unscrewed. And then I'll remove these connectors. One, two, three, four, and five connectors. And I'll remove that. And then this whole PCB with the score displays are on it, that I'll be able to lift that off. Okay, we relieved the, removed the five connectors. One, two, three, four, five. And we removed on my game the three screws. There should be four on your game. Mine's missing one. And at that point, we'll be able to lift this PCB out of here. We're just going to clear the speaker wires. And there we go. So that's the score display PCB. Score display row one and row two. Let's uh, check out this pin score display I got. I ordered uh, my product from Marcos. Uh, several people I think on the internet sell it, but for the whirlwind, I got PS12232 dash p116 16 digit score displays led display william system 11 bc and i got the orange led okay they come in different colors i got the orange led here shows a picture of it all right and and these fit also on the data some of the data east games we'll talk about that in a second so uh but the marco specialty site's got all kinds of information on it here's my invoice Here's some information uh, on how to install it. Tells about the features. Let's see. Here's a game list it gives you for uh, Williams and Data East, Back to the Future, Bad Cats, Diner, Earthshaker, Joker, Money Night Football, Fan of the Opera, Robocop, Roller Games, The Simpsons, and Whirlwind. And then one of the important things down here, since I'm using it on a Williams game, uh, I've got a jumper called JP1. It's a square jumper, and I need to disconnect that. So in Williams games, remove the black JP1 square. So uh, I'll do that. I'll show you where that's at, and then uh, we'll install the game. It's pretty straightforward. So let's pull it out of here. It comes in a box, so it's pretty well wrapped. I didn't have I wasn't concerned at all when I got the box my front porch from Amazon so or, or not Amazon UPS so there's a static bag more bubble wrap let's see taped together and there it is so by the power of video I've already put on the foam covers. It came with some foam covers. I put those on. Uh, by the power video. Uh, also, this is uh, this is JP1. This is the jumper. I've removed that jumper, and I 
with electrical tape, I put it on the back of my board so I wouldn't lose it in case I ever wanted to use this board in a day to east. So uh, the other thing is, here's your test button. I'll show that later on where you can test all the segments. It's simple, easy. You don't have to go in through any of the system menus in the coin door. And here's your brightness control. And uh, this one is installed a little crooked on mine. So it's not as easy to change it. Uh, the brightness once it's installed in the game because it'll be the game would be installed like that so it's kind of hard to get to but uh that's life not everything's perfect but this is this is how it is it's ready to go in the game now so there's one two three four five connectors we talked about those five connectors one two three four five that i pulled off the old score display and here's your screw holes one two three and four so um the only other thing is I have to take the standoffs off the old PCB so I can use them here. So the board stands away from the uh, uh, little piece with the speakers and everything. So uh, they don't tell you about that in instructions, but that's no big deal. So there it is. It looks fantastic. The LEDs look fantastic. Uh, I can't tell you how crisp that black, the, the, you know, the digits, the black, the black mat behind the digits. It looks great. So uh, let's go ahead and install it. All right, in this video clip, just before we install the new pin score display, I want to give you a little comparison to what it looks like with the original Williams display. So look at how the digits pop. Now, some people may not like that. I like it a lot. I think it, when you see these in the games, it makes a big difference. It looks, I think it looks so much better. So this is an instance where you're going to trade these really nice LED displays for a gas plasma, and a lot of people... You know, that gas plasma looks beautiful too, but these LEDs look fantastic, and, you know, modern technology. They look a lot better in 2020 than they looked, you know, in 2000. So things really have changed with LED displays. So um, there you go. That's what the, the original one, that's 30 years old from my game from 1990. And here's what the new one score display. This thing will last me hopefully for another 30 years. All right, I just want to make sure I get it under the speaker wire. Wire going for these two speakers. Get my five connectors. Now, they're kind of retain their shape on where they're going to go. And uh, I line up my screw holes. Get them started. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and screw those in. Okay, snug, tight, but not too tight. Don't want to strip anything out. I think that's probably what happened to my other screw back here. Uh, now I want to put this little ribbon cable in. Scoot my, scoot that back a little bit. And we line this up. Push it on. <clears throat> then we put the other one. They all go. They all go underneath the uh, speaker cable. So there's a the second one. Line these up. one and uh, the connectors are just a little bit different than the original Williams display uh, nothing crazy but just so you know it's not a perfect exact match they're just a little bit spread further apart but that's it I just installed it we flip it up 
oops, got my screwdriver in the way. All right, there we go. All right, let's turn it on and see what it does. Wow. That looks fantastic. All right. It looks much better live than it does on tape. So here's the digits. If I'm going to press the test button, and we can see every segment of every digit, including the commas and semicolons, the periods are all lit. So that is your quick test. And that's a lot easier and faster than going through the coin door. So, and uh, now the brightness switch, it's over here. And because it's, it's bent at an angle, it's, or it's not as easy, or sorry, it was bent at an angle this way, it's coming up against this. So it's not easy to get, but I like the brightness where it's at right now. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, so let me dim some of the lights. I got all the lights on for shooting a video. Let's dim some lights. Whoops. And there we go. I tell you, it looks it looks great. Really looks good. Wow. How many times did I say that? A bunch. Wow. It it looks that good. I mean, if I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars on the display, right there, I'm telling you, that looks that looks like gas plasma live. I'm telling you, the video is not capturing this. It looks like gas plasma. The only thing I can tell difference is it looks better than what I had before. All right, fantastic. I'm right now. I'm happy, very happy. It's... All right, that wraps up this video where I go over the process of why I chose to select a pin score LED score display and the simple process of removing the old score display and installing the new LED score display. Now the processes that are performed in this video, you know, they're really toward the Williams System 11 score displays and the Data East score displays that it came out during that same time period. Now everybody that owns a, a classic pinball machine that came out through mid 70s all the way up to, you know, 1991, we've all got these gas plasma score displays. Whether it's the segments this way or the individual segments in the different corners, they're all gas plasma and they're all going to gas out. So eventually you're going to have to uh, replace your score displays. And really your only option that's economical and viable in the go forward solution is an LED, LED score displays. And there's several competitors out there. I don't have anything against Rotten Dog. I think they make a good product. I just went with Pin Score. I felt more comfortable with them. Uh, they cost more. So if I was to do it again, would I buy a Rotten Dog? I don't think I'd have a problem buying a rotten dog. If I was going to buy a machine from somebody and they installed a rotten dog LED score display, would I have a problem with that? I don't think I'd have a problem with that. It's just, I chose to go with pin score. I felt a little bit more comfortable with their process and the features built into it. And that was what I went with. I'm sure if you went with a rotten dog, you'd be okay. Now, if you watched the video and you saw how simple it was to remove the old score display and install the new LED score display, you know, that's a 15, 20 minute process. Hopefully this video gives you the confidence that you could do this project yourself. This is a no big deal. This is an easy one. All right, you be sure to keep watching my YouTube channel to catch my upcoming videos about machines in your home arcades, such as pinballs and video games. Now go ahead, click on that red subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell and you'll get automatic notifications of when I add content to my YouTube channel. Now, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. If you dislike this video, click the thumbs down. And if you have any feedback, leave it in the comment section below. All right, go out there and have a great day and play some classic pinball machines. You got the power. <laughs> you got the might. No way. Get ready for battle. Give me your money.